Hey guys, Eric here with Let's Talk Relationships, where I help you work through your relationships with other people in a way that helps everybody feel loved. All right, so recently I got a comment from somebody um, off of my wife's Instagram, and they asked me, what makes healthy relationships work so well, and what are some of the ways where I can work through mine? And that's a pretty vague uh, question. I'm going to kind of tackle it head on here. All right. So here are three ways that you can work on your relationships with your spouse, partner, or even brother or sister or family member. And three things to look out for in the process. Okay. Here we go. Number one, when you're talking to somebody, how you word your thoughts is crucial. Please understand that no one is guilty of doing anything wrong by voicing their opinions or by sharing their hearts and their secrets with another person, let alone someone that they trust and want to bond with. But also understand that the way you share your thoughts with somebody is a very, very forward way of telling the other person whether or not they can trust you with their secrets and thoughts. It's very important in order to have a healthy relationship to pay attention to the way another person responds to the way you word things and being open to changing the way you communicate with them. I'm sure you've heard it said a lot of times that communication is key. Well, while that's absolutely true, it is also very true that communication is not the only key. Which leads me to number two. Second way to have a healthy relationship isn't just communicating or communication. It's being able to be around the other person silently. L let me explain a little bit. So a lot of times when you're around somebody all the time, it can feel like you get on each other's nerves. So especially in a marriage or whenever you're really dating somebody and you're courting them and you're trying to, to, to make something real and long lasting, you're going to get on each other's nerves and you're going to be around the other person for a while. So it's important to be able to have healthy boundaries where both of you are able to be quiet and at rest around each other. And again, this comes from partially from part number one, where you have to be able to communicate properly in a way that doesn't upset the other person. But it's just as important to be able to not have silent tension in the air. Which leads me to number three. Third way that you can really improve your relationships with other people is to have an open mindset. This comes in a variety of mannerisms, but predominantly having an open mindset means not walking into the other room, expecting the other person to respond a specific way, expecting a conversation to go smoothly because sometimes they don't and being willing to walk in there and be prepared for things to shift in a way that you don't really expect when your husband or wife or brother or sister or stepmom or whoever or best friend is having a bad day and you don't know about it and you walk in and you say, hey, would you like to play? I just don't want to deal with anything right now. Whoa, whoa, what's going on, man? Just having a tough time. You want a coffee or something? No, I'm good. And then just like letting that go, not carrying it with you. If you don't have an open mindset, if you go in there expecting an outcome that you don't get and turns into a problem, that's not really a healthy relationship. You know what I mean? So let me know what you think in the comments in the description below. If you uh, have any any ways that you can suggest people watch out um, for bad relationship warning signs, red flags, if you would, and ways that you would address it. Like the video if it's helped you. And uh, if you want to, you can write to me and ask me your questions at the email below. And I will personally get those emails. Just make sure that you write a subject, um, a subject line that says uh, YouTube response so that I know it's not spam. Um, and or uh, you can directly uh, you can directly message me on YouTube if you prefer or just comment openly in the descriptions. All right. And I would be happy to answer any questions you have or even write back to you. So hope this helped you guys. I love you all. I'll see you next time.